Ready? Go. <laughs> I'm going to talk fast this time. Okay. The more that you read, the more things you know. The more that you learn, the more places you go. This is a speech, or this is a quote by my favorite author, Dr. Seuss. I'm going to talk about the importance of reading and why it's important to read every day. Reading is the best way to expand the imagination, improve brain function, and opens the mind to new ideas. The most vital reason to read more is to help your brain. This is information I found on, why, on an article called, Why is Reading Important? The brain is a muscle, and the best way to work out a muscle is to, re is to develop it and exercise and stuff. Um, the best way to exercise your brain is to read. The best thing to read is fiction. Fiction helps open doors and ideas and things that you didn't really realize were out there. Um, it also helps develop listening skills. Children that are read to at a younger age um, listen better than the children that were not read to at a young age. It also helps expand your vocabulary. The brain is like a warehouse, so it stores all the it stores everything that you learn, and the more that you read, the fa the the faster your brain develops, and the more that you'll be able to use new words, new ideas, new concepts, and stuff in your daily life. It also opens the mind to different views. Um, this is from an article called. Um, reading fiction improves brain connectivity and function. Um, by reading fiction, you put yourself in another's shoes. You view the world through another person's eyes, and you experience a life that you didn't know was out there. It also offers a good escape. A good way, life can get stressful, life can get hard, and a good way um, to not let it bog you down and get into depression or get too stressed is to read. Escape into a book, escape into someone else's life, escape into someone else's problems or whatever. That's a, that's a good way, that's a good reason to read is just to escape. The world also becomes like a billion times bigger. You realize that your problems are not the only problems out there and it really helps. Um, according to government studies, since 1984, the percent of 13 year olds who are weekly readers went down from 70% to 53% and the percent of 17-year-olds who are weekly readers went from 64% to 40%. The percent of 17-year-olds who, nev who never or hardly ever read tripled during the period from 9% to 27%. The pattern I saw is in 1984, my parents were like 13 or 14, so they were young adults. So from 1984 to now, that is a whole different generation. From the generation before me to now, people are reading less and there's there's studies and there's proof. The reason for these statistics, most importantly, is the reason for the statistics is because parents have stopped reading, so kids have stopped reading. I found all this information on Forbes magazine um, for kids don't read books because parents don't read books. The reason that parents aren't reading books anymore is because of technology. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google, and which ironically you're actually reading constantly, but your world is only as big as your screen. So all your so the only thing you're reading is other people's superficial problems instead of expanding your mind, learning new words, learning new vocabularies, um, working out your brain, and your eyes are constantly glued to the screen. I can't emphasize that if you only read what's on your computer, your world is 13 inches by nine inches. Um, why are people doing this? Why are people not reading books? Why are they only taking time for social media? The biggest reason given was because they don't have any time and also because they think they have better things to do. Uh, the best way to improve our reading habits is to make small goals to read more often. Making goals is what make things attainable. If you can make a goal to even read a chapter a day, you... I'm um, sorry. If you make a goal to read a chapter a day, that is a step in the right direction. If you don't feel like you can even read a chapter a day, make a goal to read one book a month. Pick up a Dr. Seuss book and say, I'm going to read this in this month, or whatever. Um, another good thing to do is if you are a pretty big reader, or you like to read, and you wish you read more, a good idea is to explore new genres. There are so many genres and so many authors out there that I promise you've never even heard of. Just go to the library and pick up something you've never heard of and you've never dreamed of reading. It's going to open up a whole new world, give you whole new ideas, and just expand your world so much more. So reading can be a very enjoyable experience, and sometimes the only thing we need to change is our attitude. 
Make time to pick up a book, set goals on how much you want to read, and just escape. Thank you.